Hello once again. Since you already have some idea of the future tense, this lesson shouldn't be too difficult for you. In this lesson, we will discuss the future perfect continuous tense. So far, we have done the simple future tense, the future continuous tense and the future perfect tense. If you haven't already, I suggest you watch them. Those lessons will prepare you for a better understanding of the future perfect continuous tense. So what is the future perfect continuous tense? Turn to unit 10, revision point, page 119. The last point given in the blue box is an explanation of the tense. Let's read it together. The future perfect continuous tense is used much like the future perfect, but one of the actions is likely to continue beyond the other. They have given an example too. So that you can get a better understanding. This is fairly a long book and I have read only half of it. In fact, by tomorrow, I will have been reading it for three days. Let's remind ourselves about the future perfect. You can watch lesson 30 for a better understanding. The future perfect tense is used to express an action that will be completed before some point in the future. The future perfect continuous tense is slightly different to this as it is likely to continue beyond the other. The future perfect continuous, also sometimes called the future perfect progressive, is a verb tense that describes actions that will continue up until a point in the future. The future perfect continuous consists of will plus have plus been plus verbs present participle verb root plus ing. When we describe an action in the future perfect continuous tense, we are projecting ourselves forward in time and looking back at the duration of that activity. The activity will have begun sometime in the past, present or in the future and it is expected to continue in the future. Let's look at some examples. In November, I will have been working at this company for three years. At 5 o'clock, I will have been waiting for 30 minutes. When I turn 30, I will have been playing the guitar for 21 years. If you have noticed, all these actions are most likely to continue for some time in the future. Remember that non-action verbs like to be, to seem or to know are not suited to the future perfect continuous tense. Instead, these verbs take the future perfect tense, which is formed with will plus have plus past participle. In order to understand this better, let's look at some examples. On Thursday, I will have been knowing you for a week. The sentence is incorrect. The correct sentence should be, on Thursday, I will have known you for a week. So, for the non-action verb to know, will plus have plus past participle has been used. I will have been reading 45 books by Christmas. This sentence is also incorrect and instead we can write, I will have read 45 books by Christmas. In the revision point on page 119 in your pupil's book, they have added a note at the end. Sometimes we use the present continuous tense, simple present tense and the going to form to denote future actions. They have given some examples too. I am practicing after school with my teammates as we are taking part in the cricket tournament tomorrow. Hurry up! The train leaves in 10 minutes. I am going to help my mother in the kitchen as soon as I finish my homework. You can look at previous lessons on the present continuous tense and the simple present tense to get an idea of how you can use these tenses to denote the future and its actions. 
With that, we have completed all three tenses, the present, the past, and the future. You may look at previous lessons to understand the difference between these tenses. Let's now look at Unit 10, Activity 5. Let's do this exercise together. Fill in the blanks with the correct form of verbs given within brackets. You need to revise all three tenses to complete this activity. Malinti is a student. She studies in grade 11. Sandhuni will clean the classroom tomorrow. We will be going on a trip to Carnelia during our last school vacation. You can turn off the radio. I will not be listening to it. While I was doing my homework, someone knocked at the door. Rizwan is watering the flowers at this moment. I usually drink a cup of tea early in the morning. After this trip, I will have visited Noorelia four times. The moon revolves around the earth. Mr. Pereira will have worked in this office for 10 years by 2024. That was an interesting exercise because you had to use all the tenses you know. Always look for indicators, maybe in the form of words or phrases to give you an idea of the tense of these verbs. Words like tomorrow and at this moment tell us exactly when the said action is scheduled to take place. Be mindful of little hints in the sentence that are placed there to help you write out the appropriate conjugated verb in the blanks. And that comes to the end of our lesson. I do hope you found it useful. Please do subscribe to our channel and avail yourselves to lessons like the one you just saw. Have a wonderful day.